Hello and welcome in this tutorial where I want to show you the power of the Puppet Pin tool. Thanks to FreePick I was able to download such a file and I was able to separate, uh, separate this bird. And it's a normal PNG file. Let's just think that you have to animate a custom logo, but the client just gives you a random low quality PNG and you have to somehow custom animate it. That's where the pin tool can be one of the most powerful tools in After Effects. Let's just drag this birdie into the composition. And how would I animate this? I would need to go into Illustrator, trace it, try to vectorize it, and then use the vector layers itself to animate it. Or here on the top side, I can click on the puppet pin tool. How does this work? I have this layer selected. And let me come closer. I will make somewhat a skeleton of um, of this mesh. I will tell you in a moment. The Puppet Pin tool automatically traces this image and now I need to create the mesh. Think of those as bones or a skeleton of this bird. So you just create a mesh and I know that I want to move for example the wings. Maybe let's make two points for the wings. Of course this should be moved maybe here so it will freely run around, okay? A mesh like this and clicking space, moving it, maybe also the legs. I also make one point here so the legs can move freely. Wow, this was great. All right, you have the mesh and while still having the puppet pin tool selected, once I drag my mouse here, look what happens. I can drag those elements. Now imagine this, boom, this is a PNG image and we will be able to animate it. I'll open the mesh. The expansion determines how strong of an influence one point has. Look at this for example. Oops, sorry, I pressed space. If I click on this point, it moves, well, the head. If I expand it strongly, it goes even up to here and here, which is far too much. I will remain at three and how would you go about animating this? Open up the deform and you have all those pins. And as you can see, we already have a keyframe here. What you do, you select all pins, you open them. Maybe let's make a bit more space for us. You have already one basic keyframe because this position is the first keyframe. And I want to go a bit forward and just make a... Oh, I want to select just one pin. Maybe make a simple animation. This to the top. The wings a bit inside. This wing a bit inside. Well, this isn't a perfect animation. And this to the top. And maybe also the legs a bit. Boop. Boop. And going back. The legs will go like this. Boom. This will go down the wings maybe flatter a bit well this isn't really, really flattering but let's oh my god this is really bad I'm sorry I'm being so bad here and at the last keyframe going forward I'll try to return to the original position I should make a keyframe for the original position but for the sake of this tutorial I just want to show you the possibilities of this wonderful tool which can help you to animate each normal simple PNG image in such a freestyle way. Okay, I'll go back and look at the beginning. Well, this is too synchronized now. It would look better if we like randomly did spread those those keyframes. Maybe this earlier, this later, this later. And you come on. Okay. Now it would be a bit more random can see what happens with the birds. But this is the small detail that I wanted to teach you. The puppet pin tool is such a great tool because we can make any logo, any icon, anything we want, even the PNG image come alive. This is great. I hope you will learn from this and you will try to use the puppet pin tool yourself.